Hello, I'm Evan Miller with the TheAfficionateLifestyle.com and number six in our video series is how do you correctly clip or cut the cap of your cigar. Now, there are two distinguishing parts to a cigar, the cap and the foot. But the cap, as far as uh, most of you are concerned, there's only going to be two types of caps. One is going to be a rounded end, and one is going to be a torpedo end, a very pointed end. And I will show you both as we go forward. You're going to notice within premium cigars is that many top rollers will actually have what is called a nibble cap on the end. And you can probably see on the web, uh, on the web many uh, YouTubes that I've done with uh, a buddy of mine, Rock Thomas, about uh, eating off a nibble cap if you really want to see it done. I'm actually going to show you cutting techniques today. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much about seeing the nipple cap um, being taken off. One of the things you're going to notice is that when you're dealing with a, uh, a cigar with a rounded end is that you never want to clip up too high. You always want to be clipping on the rounded end, never clipping full through the cigar. I see this in movies all the time. When we're enjoying a cigar the correct way, you want to make sure that you're coming up and you're only taking off so much and then clipping it off. Now the other way that you can actually uh, get a cigar and puncture it is by what is called a punch. Now this right here is a punch and there are two different sizes that I have on this punch. There is a larger size for a larger gauge which I would use for this one or a smaller punch for a smaller size or gauge cigar. I particularly, in all the cigars that I've smoked, i um, not a big fan of the punch. It's not allowing for enough draw to happen. And what you'll happen very often with a punch that I've noticed is that you will actually have some, some canoeing action happen because you're not getting enough in it. So it, many people enjoy it that way, but unless, of course, it's a smaller cigar, uh, I wouldn't suggest going with a punch. But if you want to know how to do it, I will do it very quickly, and then we'll clip the end off. All you do is very readily get to the center of the cigar. You slowly screw in the cigar, not to puncture too far into the cigar. You just want to get out enough of it that, uh, there she goes. Now, you can see that there is a very nice hole. Now that we've learned how to use a punch, we want to correctly learn how to use your cigar cutter. So now that you're zoomed in here, I'm going to show you how you would cut this particular cigar. So you come onto it, so you're not at the top, or you're not over the, the end of the rounded part. So you come up about halfway on that, so you can get enough draw through the cigar, up on the cigar, but you're not cutting the whole end off. So it's not the whole diameter. It's about three quarters of that diameter. And I'm gonna punch down, nicely done. And normally it will drop into my ashtray, it dropped onto my floor there. But now, all you have to do is wipe off the end, and you have a perfect cut. Now that is how you cut a rounded end cigar. Actually go into cutting, how do you cut a torpedo end, which is going to be a cigar of this shape and it's going to have what is called a very pointed and or torpedo end. So let's zoom in real quickly. Now you would not use a punch on a torpedo end. Not too smart. But what I've seen is many people, the torpedo is meant for a very specific shape and draw of the cigar. This is how the old Cuban master rollers used to do things. Now, you do not cut across, directly across a uh, torpedo end. You always come at about a 30 to 40 degree angle up the torpedo enough that you will be able to get enough draw through the cigar. So now, let's just cut that off, and it will come off in a very, very nice 
angle. Now, you doing that in front of all your friends and understanding the reason why is because now the draw through the cigar is going to be meant for what the roller initially had set its, uh, set its mind on and actually getting the maximum draw through it with the maximum taste through your cigar. Thanks for joining me here today. To view all 20 videos in our Cigar Basics series, go to LearnCigars.com and sign up. And we'll send you the entire collection free so you can expand your cigar knowledge. I'm Eben Miller with TheAficionalLifestyle.com, and let's not forget, life's a pleasure.